And we are back. Thanks for staying with us. It is time for our final conversation with media personality all the way. Well, he's quite a lot of things, actually. Mm -hmm. He's a content creator. He's a reality TV star. He's a sports data analyst. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the way from Soweto, Africa. Oh, my turn. Uh -uh. It's the banger, Mazibuko. Yay! I didn't know you wanted me Thank to do Thank you guys so much for having me. You're welcome yeah, to so well. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, man, good to have you here. Thank you Fresh so much. Fresh off of the Titans mm. and everything, man. Good to see you in person. A lovely to meet you guys as well. Great personality through it all and everything. I... One question. One okay. question for... Oh, okay. What does it mean of Ziakala? Ziakala. Ziakala. Wahala. It's, um, I think the simplest way to describe it is like it's going down. Like, it's going uh, yeah. Down. So when, when something happens that's kind of, you know, big and it's like... It's going down. It's, you going say down. it's like Ziakal. It's like a slang. Yeah, it's slang. Ah, okay. Yeah. So nice. it's Ziakal right here in Wake mm -hmm. Up Nigeria. With the band. <laughs> no, but work. it's negative. Oh, wow. It's negative. Okay. No. <laughs> yeah. So like, okay. Wow. Put that yeah. forward first next time. Yes, no, it's negative. <laughs> Has anyone told you that Mazibuko sounds like a Nigerian name? No, actually. Are you serious? Yeah. Mazibuko. Yeah. It actually sounds like a Nigerian really? no. name, yeah. But hey, it's good to be here. Now let's talk about life after the Big Brother Titan. I mean, you were in the house for, you know, a lot for weeks, and now you are out into the world. Yes. Talk to us about, you know, the, your, the experience so far. Um, so far coming out, you know, like I've, I've, I've said, like the love, the love is the, the biggest thing, you know, like, you know, coming out, meeting this supportive base, you know, the tea bangers, the Tabang lovers. Oh, tea bangers, oh, tea that's bangers. what you yeah. call them. Yeah, so, yeah, like, I just came out and, like, everything was there and I was like, wow, you know, and, like, the love that they've shown me since I've, I've come out the house has just been so amazing, you know. Yeah. Um, finding out that, like, a lot of people actually, like, actually know me because I didn't think this many people would know who I am, you know. I didn't think... I just thought I'd go back to life, you know, I could go to the mall, you know, things would be a bit easier in terms of entering the entertainment industry, but it's like, this is me and this is my life now, you know. So um, getting used to that and embracing that and, you know, starting to make your steps and, you know, baby steps and then you can start moving in strides to kind of make your way forward. So, yeah, I'm just mm. trying right now. So you're young, you're very young. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And it's like as if you yes. put the chart of your life in front of you. Was it deliberate going into the Big Brother house? Did you plot that out? Did you think that this was going to be part of my life? Have to get into entertainment. Big Brother would be it. Boom, bam, um, fame, everything. Not really. I had plans to do everything that I'm doing now. Um, it's just that my mom suggested me going to Big Brother as like a thing in passing. Um, then I thought about it and I was like, I don't really have anything to lose going in except I have a lot to gain as well because with everything that I do want to do, it would kind of help um, propel that forward. So that kind of just made it a no-brainer in terms of why I should go into the house. So then I applied, I entered, I went in, and now I'm starting with the plans just on a bigger scale, you know? So, because yeah, now I'm able to do that. So yeah, like I think that's, that's the whole idea around me ending up on Big Brother. Like entertainment is something I'd always planned on going into. It's just the plans I had before the house were, yeah, something that I just thought me being in the house would help me do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So now that you're out, um, do you plan to explore Nigeria more or you want to go back to South Africa? Um, my trip here is finding out how, is also meant to help me find out how much of Nigeria I can explore, you know, like. <laughs> okay. I also wanted to go to um, other states, uh, Abuja, Jaws. Um, unfortunately, like being here, you're actually very, very busy. So yeah, it's a busy yeah I'm hoping um, on my next trip, uh, I'll be able to uh, you know visit those states and okay. learn about other states as well. Because I know Nigeria has a lot of states and a lot of cultures to explore. So about that culture, especially mm -hmm. now South yeah. Africa. You know, perhaps maybe it could be big in South Africa and everything. But to be in Big Brother Titans means that. It's like a melting pot of two different cultures, cultures. Nigeria yeah. and mm -hmm. South Africa. Mm -hmm. I don't know what your take was on the Nigerians that were inside of the house. First off, that's one part of the question. What was it like meeting the Nigerians, yeah. living with their culture, their preferences, mm -hmm. the yeah. way they talk and everything? Was it, was it difficult for you? Was it different? What was the experience mm -hmm. like? That's um, half of the question. So I think I've had a lot of um, friends who are Nigerian ah, um, in South Africa. Before. But they're not Nigerian from Nigeria. They're Nigerian born and raised in South Africa. Okay. Um, 
Excuse me. So, in my interactions with the Nigerian housemates, it was always like, I like how they speak and how they sound. It's like, okay, I expect this, you know. Mm -hmm. But then, the food is something that I hadn't really uh -huh. had before I got into the house, except for jollof. We have uh, yeah, jollof <laughs> is like the, you know, number one thing that you have. Yeah. yeah. So my interaction with the housemates wasn't really that crazy. It's just at some points I realized that. We actually have a lot of things in common. common I should yeah. just focus on those things yeah. because I'm going to make you do a Nigerian accent mm. eventually. <laughs> but first off, now that you've experienced Nigeria yeah. as the place, is it also a different experience for you, or what kind of an experience is it? Do you love it? Do you like it? Do you want to stay? Yeah, I I, I like it. I love it. I I could get used to it, um, but wow. people are always shocked when I say that because they're like, <laughs> you haven't really seen Nigeria then. Um, but yeah, like I think I, it poses an opportunity for you inside of entertainment, being in Nigeria or making Nigeria a part of that process. Yes, it does. Um, coming here, I've realized that uh, production here is actually very, very good. Mm. It's it's quick. It's straight to the point. You know, um, you know, I might find like sometimes an essay with the you know certain people that I've dealt with. Maybe um, things take a bit longer. You okay. know, okay. Okay. so I know here it's. Chop, 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 chop. Yeah, time everything's money. happening. Yeah. Uh, we're so, working. yeah, like, uh, that's something that draws me. And the quality of work is also really, really great because okay. you don't lose quality of work mm. with the speed. Mm. Nice. Yeah. So, Leah, yeah, let's talk yeah. about some of your interests in the house while you yes. were in the house, right? Yes. And um, so far, how's that going um, now that you're out yeah. of the house? So far with um, my interest. Interest, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, I think it's good. Uh, yeah, I hope to just be cordial with everyone. But okay. my, my primary focus is just myself and finding my feet and finding my way forward, you know. Mm. So I'm not really looking into those interests. But really, yeah. what Let's be was specific. going on? Interest. Let's talk it, about yeah. those interests. Let's be really specific. Let me yeah. go into, you know, what was happening. Because it seemed like a situation ship that was going on. Mm -hmm. It felt like a, I, well, Fed said threesome somewhat mm -hmm. that was going on between, you know, you, um, Osa. I know it's a... Oh, Kosi. Kosi, yes. yeah. Kosi, right? You do <laughs> that for then, Kosi. Kosi, okay. No, it, there's a language, it's from a... a Kosa. Kosa, yeah. Kosa. Okay. Kosa. 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 Oh, Nelisa is a Kosa. Yeah. yeah. And um, I, I can't remember the other guy's name. So there seemed like, you know, there was a threesome that was going triangle. on between a triangle that was going on between the three of you. How did you feel during... I know that you, you, you were explicit with your feelings. You expressed how you felt, you know, and that was it. But... Um, Talk to us about what was really going on in your mind, you know, with everything that was happening in the house. Um, the house, I didn't really leave much to thinking. It okay. was just, uh, you know, be present, be in the moment, and yeah, sorry, <clears throat> be present, be in the moment, and yeah, you just find yourself in certain situations. So yeah, that was one of the situations that I found myself in. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that's it? Yes, that's it. Okay. Yeah. And nothing, we shouldn't expect any, you know, ship. Oh, no. Spotlight on no. you now. Yeah, really? No, 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 nothing? Nothing that's gone dusted? No ships. Done yeah. with that? Yeah. Okay. okay, okay. Now that we're done with that, let's start you off with the Nigerian starter pack. Since you're yes. in Nigeria, I don't know if you've been uh, familiarized with the phrases that make you Nigerian, make you familiar. Okay. You want, you, do you have any you want him to... Practice with. Um, first well, of first off, let's talk about your favorite uh, musician, Nigerian musician. Exactly. My favorite Nigerian musician is Burner Boy. Burner Boy. Yeah. Has to always be Burner. Oh, okay. Okay, so with that, you have to greet like Burner Boy. Yeah. So you have to like, are you day now? Yeah. Are you no, day not, now? No, 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 you're telling him. You're yeah, not no. supposed to tell him. You're <laughs> supposed to figure it out. The next one he'll ah. tell us. Okay. So how you day now is like, come on, how you day now? How you day now? There's a, there's a, there's a. Oh. There's a, there's oh, a, like, how you day now? Yeah, that's, that's a bit too. That's, <laughs> It's like a bit aggressive. How you oh, doing? How now? you doing now? What's in day? What's in day? <laughs> it's the cool. It's the cool. Have you learned any Nigerian languages so far? Languages? No. I'm still trying to work my way into pidgin. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. I haven't okay. really done much, but yeah, I'm still trying to learn pidgin. Yeah. Now let's talk food, because I mean, I know you mm. experienced a bit of that while yes, in the Big Brother yes, house, yes. but what's your favorite so far, other than jollof? Um, fried rice. But okay. That's similar to jollof, yeah. but so far I enjoyed um, fufu. Fufu. Yeah, which I want to try again because I had goat meat. Oh. And then I was like, I should have fufu with goat meat because that sounds like a nice combi yeah. combination. Yeah, but you don't have like fufu and goat meat. There has to be like a soup. Like a, a soup. So what soup? 
Is it Hussi or Okro? Pepe Soup. Yeah, Pepe Soup. Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah. okay. That's right. You know what? We are going to give him more jello. Exactly. <laughs> we, we want to come on over. <laughs>